this guy invisible? <laughs> what? No. Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another installment of the Warzone Academy series, a series dedicated to helping you become a better Warzone player through in-depth guides and gameplay review. Today, we're taking a look at my 10 favorite flanks across all of Warzone, whether they are cheeky peaks, cheeky jump spots. These are all the spots that I like to use around the map to outplay my opponents, especially when they're posted up on the high ground. You guys have loved this video series in the past, so I'm glad to bring it back. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to drop a sub. But more than anything, if you enjoy my content, enjoy the values you've learned from me, I would really enjoy it if you would drop a follow over on Twitch. That's where I give all of my gameplay live. That's where I do live coaching. And of course, that's where we do things like scuff gift card giveaways, G Fuel giveaways, and just hang out and shoot the breeze. And I really like to, to get to know you guys there. Comment section's nice, but nothing beats Twitch chat. And I would really love to see you all live over on Twitch. Without any further ado, let's jump straight in to the video. Oh, and of course, in case you were wondering, the link is in the top of the description and in the pinned comment to see me over on Twitch. All right, so the first jump spot or flank that I have is absolutely insane. I haven't seen any pro player, no one use it on stream. I haven't seen anyone use this. So I'm going to make a deal with you. If you have not seen this before, drop a subscription. If I'm trying, I'm doing my absolute best to try to provide value to you guys on YouTube. So if you haven't seen this before, drop a sub. All right, so here's the deal. People love to camp up here and they love to camp back here. Oftentimes you'll find them just holding a disgusting angle right here, right? So how, how do you get up here? Obviously, there's one option that we've all seen before. We all know of this right here where you can kind of jump in and do some of this stuff, right? Uh, if you haven't, well, I mean, you should. But one thing that I never see anyone do, if I know that there's someone in here, I'll close that door. I'll walk on top of this. Unfortunately, you can mess around with this and mess up and be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to be a little careful, take a little practice. I would encourage you going into plunder, but you basically just walk against, you tack sprint, you jump in, and you're in. No one has ever expected it. I've never seen anyone else talk about this on YouTube, TikTok, anywhere. So if you learn something new, make sure to drop a sub, but we got a lot more tips coming your way. Enemy soldier incoming. Ah. Enemy soldier incoming. All right, so the second junk spot or flank that I love to use is on these really tall buildings like this apartment over by Superstore. These are all throughout the map and they all have one choke point right here, but they also have a window. Now, there are two ways to get on top of it. You can either jump via here or you can just jump from right here. But players love... You can already see him. I've killed him a couple times, so he's pre-aiming me. To just absolutely camp up here. And you get a nasty angle for anyone camping here or camping here. This guy is only searching for it because I've killed him for multiple times trying to record this take. And it is an awesome way to help clear this out um, as you're trying to clear off these rooftops. Okay, now the third jump spot is actually a series of jump spots, and it's all throughout all of hangars. What a lot of people don't realize is all of these little railings and all of these little windows are all accessible. So you can jump through and get some pretty crazy angles on people all throughout this. You know, you can jump on top of there and see some people in between these hangars in here. You can also use it to peek inside. These are nasty, nasty head glitches that are difficult to see from the outside in, and most people are only focused on the chokes. So you can run in here and majorly wreak some havoc on people by peeking through these windows. I'm going to show you a clip real quick of two instances in a single gunfight where I both peek out and peek in to get quick kills. Now, the fourth jump spot is one of the easiest ones to make, but I see so few people making it. Let's say you've asserted dominance and you're on top of police station, but you want to clear the people inside. First, clear off everyone else, and then don't feel tunnel vision into going down here. So often, people are just holding this down. What you can do is maybe like put some dis like distraction in there and then just jump through here. So many people don't realize there's this little patio that you can jump on. And I'll show you a little clip of when I do it to someone. And they're just completely like, 
damn good play you know so it's there it's an easy jump spot use it to your advantage don't get tunneled into this stairway and ladder way be advised uav is bingo fuel rtb for resupply where are you going? Oh, that's a good drop. Thanks. What a guy. All right, so the fifth jump spot is actually one of the most commonly camped buildings that I see, and it's this building right here. It's all over the map. It's some places over here in Boneyard, but we're all pretty familiar with the layout of this building. Whenever we run in, we often run into people who are camping right in here, and especially camping under through there. Fortunately, you can wall bank, but it's a little awkward to clear off all these angles, especially when this door is open and they're proned out or holding that wall. What you can do, ideally, either with suppressing them with grenades or whatever it may be, is you can jump from here to here, jump up, maybe get some clears in through there, and also jump in through here. Now, I'm going to be honest, I feel pretty guilty showing you this one. People love to camp inside of these buildings, but typically they just hold up through here. Well, there's actually a lot more damage that you can do in these buildings. This little ledge right here, you notice it stops you from walking forward. You can actually jump on top of this ledge and work your way. You can run all the way across here. You can jump over and you can even like jump out and hold one of these. Get some pretty nasty angles through here. Obviously, once you jump out, you kind of have to go your way up. But there are some really weird spots that you can hold. You can also hit it from this direction right here by jumping onto here, jumping over. And you can actually camp up here, camp the buy station. I really hope this doesn't come back to bite me, but you can do some pretty corny stuff while camping up inside of these rafters. Even prone out if you want to. Ew! Now, the seventh jump spot is actually just a series of jump spots and peaks all throughout all of Superstore. Now, there's a spot right here where you can sit and you can hold off all the people coming in through here. We obviously know you can hide under here if you need to. One of my favorite spots is actually jumping up. And now all of a sudden, you are the king of Superstore. You've got angles everywhere. You can even use it in reverse right here to take out people onto here. This spot is disgusting right here for keeping an eye on the middle lane. All of these spots are like a perfect head glitch where you're crouched, you're covered, you're up, you're safe. You can use these boxes right here, jump up on top, and had a really unexpected angle for anyone pushing here or here. Inside of here, all throughout all these crates, they're just disgusting, disgusting angles. You can hold this, and I've seen people actually get shots in between. Like, let's say you down some over here. This is a really safe way to uh, to down them. Really nasty heady right on top of here from mo multiple angles, clearing off here and clearing off here. A little jump spot, jump on top of the forklift, and now boom, you're into here. Obviously, we know how powerful this head glitch is. The one thing we featured in a previous jump spot video is you can jump up on top of here, sprint, I messed up the jump. But I have never seen someone use this spot on me in a game, but I've used it multiple times when I've had someone hunting me for a bounty and just leading them into a filthy, filthy trap right in here. No one really knows where you are. Of course, this head glitch, don't overlook it. You crouch and then you walk. And you've got a nasty heady. It's really, really dark. And then all you have to do is walk sideways and you're safe. Of course, we know that head glitch right there. One thing I really want to show you, though, because this has really been used to my advantage multiple times. If you've got someone camping this top office, you can either shoot them through here or shoot them from above here. And of course, the classic jump spot of all of Superstore we've talked about in a previous video is jumping up. Holding forward, waiting a second, jumping again. Too easy. If you don't know it by now, you should know that you can jump on top of these yellow pegs and jump up on top of here. And that pretty much sums up Superstore. But there are all sorts of spots all throughout Super to get those really nasty head glitches in between the shelvings. All right, the number eight jump spot once again brings us to a very commonly seen building across Verdansk. A lot of times people are camping in here. They've got a nasty head glitch right behind that office door. So even if we're peeking here... Or here, it's really tough to take the fight. But what you can do is, you know, maybe fake any one way. I always encourage with all these to draw their attention, right? Try to draw their attention. And then you can hit this jump to here. All the way across. Get in and do some damage. All right. So for flank number nine, peak number nine, jump spot number nine, whatever we're going through. 
we're up on this building. Now, we're all very familiar with the fact that we can take this window right here, jump out to here, this window right here, jump out to here. But let's say they've got all this pinned down, right? They're holding like maybe a really conservative angle like right here, or I've often even seen people holding like the little rats they are, something like this. They're ready for you. What do you do? Well, it's a long, it's a roundabout play, but we go to the ultimate building in all of downtown. Okay, maybe the pin ultimate. Is that how that works? Like the ultimate, but the second? I, I don't really know. Some grammar person can tell me in chat. But we've seen this for making rotations, but rarely have we seen this building for making flanks. You have to jump up to here, jump up on this high ground, and aim for that corner. You're going to attack jump, pop it, and then side glide. And you may need to make a small adjustment as you're landing in to make sure you get it. Oh, oh no! And it's got to be pretty much perfect. I made it three times leading up to this. And of course, I missed it right there. But fortunately, I can just hit a retry. So you're pretty much going to have to snap almost perfectly 90 degrees. Uh, this is only my third or fourth time doing it. But it's pretty easy to nail once you get it down. So once again, we'll try. For those of you who aren't aware, you can glide much farther sideways than you can just regularly. Run up here. Hit the tack sprint. Jump. And this is looking much better. I might take a small turn. And boom, we're on. And this allows you to get on and cause some nasty, nasty damage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our 10th and final jump spot. I am working my butt off to try to find value for you guys in the war zone. I'm not trying to rehash content other people have made. I'm not even just trying to post daily uploads while I know you guys love my gameplay. I'm really going out of the way for this one. So if you learned anything, enjoyed the style of video, make sure to subscribe because so many of you are getting recommended my videos, but you're not subbed yet. And it really helps me a lot if you do sub. So the last one, fire station. So many campers in this building, man. People love to camp through here and you're stuck. People love to camp in there, which you can do. Every single fire station that I've been to has an opportunity to get in. Whether it's this right here or I'll fast forward to a few more locations and show you something else. There is always a location where you can get in to the second story. Another example, we work ourselves downtown right here fire station jump onto these little sprint jump boom you're in and then the final example is here over all the way just to the east of dam so you can see from this clip here i use the tents to get into the second floor window and then i use the last chance rechallenge, like we talked about the five fatal techniques and as you can see there is always a way to get into these fire station window or at least for most of the fire stations across the map it's pretty intentionally designed ladies and gentlemen this wraps up the 10 flanks the 10 little cheeky spots everything all the 10 jump spots that i use to help outplay my opponents i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to drop a like drop a comment down below let me know if there are any jump spots that i missed and of course i will see you all on the next video because you're subscribed with notifications on appreciate you guys so much for all the support i will see you all in the next one enjoy